Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the ninth. Yeah, around the ninth. What do we got? What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Jealousy. <laughs> There's some sort of jealousy. I see the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Um, somebody that is being inflexible. You know, they may not have any long-term goals. Something like that. Stubborn. Very, very stubborn. Obsessed. Knight of Cups. Sun. We have a new start. This is happiness, extreme happiness. Extremely happy about this love, love connection, a romance, maybe stepping it up to the next level. The Knight of Cups is, is offering love. Very romantic, very charming. Extremely happy. These came, oh, these two came out together. So, but somebody's not happy. Okay, somebody isn't putting in effort. They may not want you to build something. This is somebody maybe angry. Could be a man or a woman. This is probably somebody that has a lot of fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is somebody who wants their own way that is unreasonable. Uh, being unrealistic. Self-centered. So this person is only not putting in effort, doesn't uh, want to put in effort, doesn't want to try. Interesting. Somebody's angry. There could, this could be your jealousy the, that I saw. This is somebody that is uh, unreasonable, a tyrant. So this is a tyrant. Um, not working on it, not wanting it to work out. And this is somebody, could, somebody could be being malicious, not wanting something to work out. These came out together. So we have one relationship that is blossoming because this is definitely blossoming. It's growing. Okay, this is love that is growing. Okay, this is a relationship that is growing. Over here, we have somebody here that doesn't want it to work out. So we got problem. We definitely have a problem here. Um. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all is not as it seems. Something is being revealed. Something is being revealed that was hidden about this individual. This could be like a This is a tyrant is showing who they really are, okay? Somebody is showing their true colors, put it that way. This is a reality check. We have an individual, this is very fearful. So the individual over here is very, very fearful of what they see. They see this relationship is budding. They see that it's growing. So they don't want the change. They want it to stay as it is. They don't want... So this person doesn't want this relationship to change. Hmm. Now the world re reversed. It's not stopping. It's not ending. It's not going anywhere. Okay. This relationship isn't over. It's growing. It's growing. But somebody wants it to end. Because they're fearful. They're upset. They're pissed interesting so somebody is feeling betrayed this person is feeling betrayed they're hurt they're very very hurt um it's like they just feel stabbed in the back so this person feels stabbed in the back this person is hurting very very badly over the fact that a relationship is blossoming over here interesting knight of pentacles reversed imagine that Okay, so that is your jealousy. It is jealousy. It's jealousy. It's um, laziness. We definitely do have some laziness here. Both these cards are laziness. 
but this is love that is growing, but this is not putting in much effort or no long-term plan, somebody that is very inflexible, that is hurting. They don't want something to grow, I don't believe. Ooh, man or a woman, very vindictive, revengeful. Throwing a tantrum, throwing a fit, somebody that is self-righteous, very manipulative and controlling. So we have a very controlling individual that doesn't want something to get off the ground. They don't want it to get off the ground. They don't want somebody to go through that new door. They, this is, uh, they want something to stop. They don't want somebody to get into a commitment. It could be a child. Not interested in putting in any effort. Not interested in giving it a shot. Not interested in broadening horizons. Doesn't want responsibility, but doesn't want somebody else to fall in love or something like that, which is interesting. We have a very lazy, controlling individual here on this side that doesn't really take care of themselves. This person is not healthy isn't healthy, you know, doesn't take care of themselves very much. This is a very lazy, stubborn individual here, okay, and jealous. So we have a very lazy, stubborn, unhealthy individual here that is uh, very stressed out, very, could be ill, could be ill, maybe even mentally ill, I don't know, but it doesn't have to be. But there's some sort of illness or, or unhealthy situation here. Um, they're getting, somebody's getting a reality check. And they're definitely not like it, liking it. There's, there's an imbalance. It could be a, definitely a mental imbalance. We may have somebody that has a mental imbalance. Hmm. Yeah, making a poor judgment call, not seeing clearly. Trying to make somebody feel guilty, perhaps, or feel ashamed. Ooh. Yes, sir. That's what this is. Trying to make somebody feel guilty or ashamed by causing fights. Ca this is a guilt trying to play, put, make somebody feel guilty. Wanting to fight, wanting to win at all costs. There's probably going to be a conflict. There's a power struggle here. There's somebody that wants to get their own way and they don't, it's all about them. It's a bully. We have a bully here. And this is poor health as well. There is somebody here that is not healthy and they may be, they may have some mental imbalances or something like that. They lack, uh, they may lack common sense or they lack stability or they lack security within themselves. This is fighting, fight, 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 wanting to win at all costs, not seeing clearly, not very awakened, not very spiritual, staying in the present. Um, not wanting to put in any effort, not even wanting to try. Um, very, very, very fearful. A lot of self-doubt. Not listening to anybody. So this person doesn't want to listen. They're very self-centered, very self-righteous, very egotistical. Extreme control and extreme pride over here. Very egotistical. Wants their own way no matter what. They're hurting, and they're hurting, they're hurting, they're hurting, they're hurting, they're hurting. There's, they're hurting because they're unstable. Whoops. Now, this is mental turmoil. Somebody that is trapped. Could be dealing with a Taurus, doesn't have to be. It happens to be the Eight of Swords. Somebody that is unwilling to see that there's an opportunity to share, there's an opportunity to give, there's an opportunity to receive. Mm -hmm. Somebody that is in a state of mental conflict. They need to let go of their fear and, and open up. So we, we have an individual that's having a hard time uh, seeing that they, that they need to open up. Being very inflexible. Not wanting a new beginning. Not wanting a new relationship. 
Hmm. There's some mental health issues here. There is. This person is very stubborn, very stubborn, maybe obsessed with, with holding on to the past or holding on to their old ways, not wanting any sort of change, trying to stop somebody from, trying to stop a relationship. Somebody is trying to stop somebody's happiness. And there's a lack of common sense here. There is. And they're acting, so we have an individual that is acting out in revenge. Being very vindictive, very controlling. Feeling the heat. This person is feeling the heat. They're feeling the heat. So somebody is feeling the heat. They're hot. They're hot. And I can see that they're hot. And I don't mean hot in a sexy way. They're hot. Mad. Somebody is very, very upset. Somebody is mad. They are very mad. They don't, they want, they're trying to stop something from happening. So they're going to act. And this is a very malicious individual that may say something to try to stop something. This is somebody who is malicious. So be prepared. You could have somebody that is jealous. They are hurting. They, they, they may see that you're getting into a relationship or your relationship is growing and they do something mean and hateful and hurtful to try to stop something from growing. So be prepared for that. This person is malicious, childish and immature. Okay. Um, they are not very awakened and they want to win at all costs. So this is coming out of uh, rage, jealous, uh, jealousy. So somebody's jealousy is going to cause them to act in a malicious manner. And they're doing it because they want to stop a new beginning from happening. What, what we got here is a commitment. We have two people that are, that are getting into a commitment and their commitment is stepping it up to the next level. And there's another person here. And there is, this is another person, man or woman, that is very, very upset. Very upset. This person is going to do something to stop this from happening. They're going to do something stupid. Okay, malicious. What's going to happen, though? Um, they might fall flat on their face or something like that. Because this person is so upset, they may end up hurting themselves. Um... Oh, wheel of, they, that is an accident or something. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is a delay, a setback, um, a fall from grace. Uh, oh, trying to stop somebody from moving. Like I said, we have an individual, probably could be somebody who has a lot of fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person is either Aries rising or Leo rising or... or Sagittarius rising or sun they have a lot of fire in their chart or moon or whatever they just definitely have a lot of fire in their chart this person it could be sun rising or moon okay Aries Leo Sag sun rising or moon this person is feeling a horrendous loss they're feeling it they're feeling some sort of pain therefore they're trying to stop something from happening jealous extremely jealous um this is going backwards. They don't want this change. They don't want to change. They don't want this to blossom. Two of Swords reversed and Eight of Cups. So Two of Swords reversed being exposed. Somebody's about to expose something. And I can see it over here too. So there's going to be some exposure with the moon reverse, the judgment reverse, and the two of swords reverse. Something is about to be exposed because this person is so jealous. Okay. They, they want somebody to walk away. They want to, it's almost like they want to break somebody up. And it's because they weren't chosen. The two of swords reversed. But this is seeing the truth opening up. Somebody may start to see the truth because this is seeing the truth opening up. It's time to relax. And this is walk away. 
walk away from this. This is a mental prison, okay? It's a mental turmoil. It's time to walk away. Somebody is going to be walking away without saying goodbye, perhaps, with that, because, you know, what the, or they did walk away without saying goodbye. The Knight of Cups is an offer of love. Somebody that is, uh, or it's relationship growth. It's going to be a very sensitive time, I think. And a very emotional time. We definitely have a relationship that is growing. But we also have somebody here that isn't happy. And they're trying to stop it from growing. They're trying to they're going to do anything in their power to stop it from growing. So they're going to say something. This is saying something. They're going to expose something. Could be, I don't know what it is, a crime or, you know, say something that somebody, you said this, blah, 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 to, to try to stop it, you know, to cause the other person to walk away. It's a malicious act. So somebody is going to do something malicious to try to get the other person to walk away. And they're doing it because they're hurt. They're trying to uh, stop uh, a change from happening. <laughs> oh my God. This is somebody that is extremely selfish and extremely jealous. Extremely. Doesn't care. Is very forceful. Trying to force themselves. Trying to force their ways. This is, this is somebody who has a poor self-image problem that is very needy, is a complete mess, is very mean-spirited, is self-absorbed, and is inflexible. So we have, a, we have an inflexible person that is trying to force their will. They are. They're trying to force their opinions. They're trying to force their thoughts. They're trying to uh, force them, force or stop, because of the Knight, Knight of Pentacles reversed, are trying to stop a relationship from growing. So be prepared for a jealous bitch. Whether, I don't know who this person is, and it could be a male, I don't know, to do whatever they have to do to stop a relationship from growing. They're, they're struggling. They may cause a fight. They're trying to not... You know, they're trying to make it the other person angry. They're trying to make these two people fight. So be prepared for that to happen probably very, very, very soon. Um, but this is giving up and this is giving up. So somebody's going to end up giving up eventually. They are. They're going to end up giving up eventually. Because, you know, it feels like... They are going to give up. Somebody's going to give up. Who's going to give up? Ah, Queen of Cups. We got a Queen of Cups here who could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Sun rising or Venus or uh, Moon. This person is... I think this person's going to get some sort of awakening. She's going to be put under trial because this is subject to trial. Doesn't this person didn't listen to advice? Doesn't listen to advice. Maybe being found guilty. This is moving on from that bad choice. Being shamed. We getting a reality check. This person is going to be getting a reality check from this person that is giving up. There's some sort of fight that is going to happen. This person is um, not giving their love. Not very The hand is on the cup. Not giving love. going to be experiencing a loss and this is like a setback a horrendous loss this person right here is going to maybe losing money something financial maybe losing an opportunity and, and this is a shock it is 
So I think that, that we have an individual who hasn't been giving their love that is going to be experiencing a loss. It's like the past mistakes are coming back to haunt them. This person up here may be the one that is giving up. Somebody is giving up. And there's a third party here. Okay, there's, a, there's another person that um, has been pushed aside per se. And it's been a constant battle. But I feel like um, there is a decision or there's, a, there's some sort of mental turmoil that causes a person to walk away without saying goodbye. It's like they just, it feels like they come to their senses. Which is interesting. On the bottom card we have death. So, so it's an ending, a profound change, destruction, a transition. A separation which leads to a new beginning and somebody is walking away from a person that doesn't take care of them that doesn't love them that's what I see I think they've been in denial they've been in denial they've been in a state of mental turmoil but it's like they see the light they see that this is like an awakening. I think we have, we have an individual that goes through some sort of awakening they decide to go down another path and the person, they have another person that is in the mix that has been trying to deceive them with lies. They have with lies. This person is, 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 ve is very much a liar. And something gets revealed that shows their true colors. And the person that they lied to says goodbye. I mean, there's definitely an ending here. It's a profound one. It's, it's a painful one. Okay. This is a painful one. This is falling flat on their face. Okay, this is somebody, you know, a situation that doesn't survive the Ten of Swords, you know, it's the death of a situation. So, and it is a, it's a, it's, it's a shock comes all of a sudden and the Two of Swords can be all of a sudden, reverse can be all of a sudden too. So that's a sudden, a sudden, a sudden ending here. So we do have a sudden ending. It, it starts with a fight. It starts with a fight, which, which ends with a... Uh, death okay and you can take death however you want it but death is a profound change that leads to a new beginning so we also have a relationship that is that is growing okay and the relationship that is growing um isn't isn't going to end anytime soon so whoever this person is that is so jealous they might as well just give up right now because they're not going to win, even though they're trying to win. And I think the fact that they're trying to win so badly is going to be what bites them in the ass. Good luck.